I think catfish probably, I mean, definitely double figures times in the last five years, and in some cases, horrendously so. <laughs> So for anyone who doesn't know, catfishing is basically where someone pretends to be someone they're not online. That's the kind of simplest version of it and it comes out in various different forms. You might find that someone uses someone's pictures, they'll kind of steal like a model's photos from online or something, or they might use photos of themselves but make a lot of lies about themselves or their profile might be kind of full of errors that don't actually make any sense. I've had a lot of experiences with catfish and I think it's because I'm quite open and I show my sort of vulnerabilities. I can't hide my vulnerabilities, so I think because of that, People who also feel that way, but are maybe doing something a bit silly about it, will actually approach me and feel like I'm someone they can talk to. There's a catfish that I used to speak to five years ago, who now is still having the same profile and they know he's a fake and I report him all the time. And the difficult thing is, I know that these people are getting people that are vulnerable to believe that they, they love them and that they kind of appreciate them. But at the same time, I feel really sad for these people. Because I guess I sort of know, feel like I know what they're going through. I think someone with a long-term health condition are actually quite um, fair game uh, for someone who is wanting to kind of maybe sort of pull the wool over someone's eyes. I guess I feel this way myself, I'm not saying it's how everyone feels, but I feel often I accept more from people and I'm, I get more excited when someone kind of seems to see the real me and I think that's often what these people will do. They'll kind of realise that actually by being extra romantic or extra chatty or all these things that's what people like about them they don't have to follow through they don't have to meet you for a date they don't have to be that person so they can be anyone they want to be and because of that they often come across as the perfect person and not even just in looks sometimes it's just in how they behave and how they talk to you and how they make you feel and I think because of that I've been quite targeted because I I want that I want the kind of romantic starry sort of love you know and because of that I look perhaps in the wrong places it feels quite scary because I feel like I'm extra vulnerable so I think if I went to meet this person and they lied to me then it could be very dangerous. I wanted to kind of learn what it was like to be a catfish and wanted to know why these people did it because I, I've always kind of, I felt angry at them but I've often felt quite sorry for them because I think if you hate yourself that much or you don't want to be yourself that much that you are willing to fall for someone, have someone fall for you, go through that whole process to never meet them. That's, that's quite a strong sense, you know, you must really not like yourself, put yourself through that. I actually just one day just thought to myself, I'm going to set up a profile which is an old photo of me before I had Parkinson's, so I had when I had dark hair, it didn't really look like me anymore. And a number of people on dating websites had sort of like started talking to me and then when I'd brought up Parkinson's it sort of disappeared or gone off, gone off the heat a bit. So I basically deliberately targeted some of these people that I'd spoken to previously and they talked to me for longer. I had to actually just cut it off because it broke my heart, because it basically sort of validated what I knew or what I thought was true. And I knew it wasn't good for me to do it, but actually it sort of gave me some answers that kind of cleared it up for me. But actually during that process and doing that thing, and we realise why people do it. So I completely understand a lot of the time why these kind of non-malicious catfish would do this because actually sometimes you just don't want to be yourself. So my takeaway from catfish and catfishing is if you have those kind of gut feelings, those red flags, they're there for a reason. I think I often ignore mine but they're very accurate and often I thought no 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 I don't want to be you know do I know I've given advice previously where I've said, you know, go into each relationship anew and things like that, but I think you have to have a, like a level of scepticism. You know, people are people, but there's some people out there that aren't necessarily trying to do good for everyone. So I think listen to the, listen to your gut, listen to the red flags. They're really the best signal that you have. And if someone is actually a real person and you tell them you think they're a catfish, the real person will not disappear. The catfish would disappear. So I think it feels like better to be sceptical and better to be, you know, open and, and talk to people if you're worried about how legitimate they are. If you're interested in finding out more about Parkinson's, subscribe for a new video every Thursday.